Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome here to Winston Fire Department. We're uh, proud to be able to bring all of you together today to talk about this uh, very important uh, opioid distribution for the communities. Uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, bring forward Representative John Zlotnick to go over the program. Uh, first, thank you, Chief uh, Smith, for uh, hosting this at his uh, department. Uh, earlier this year, Attorney General Moore Haley first announced uh, the massive settlement against opioid manufacturers and, distri uh, and distributors. Uh, I looked at the spreadsheet that listed the dollar amounts communities in this area would be receiving, and, and despite the large total amount, uh, when it's broken down to the hundreds of communities uh, receiving those funds over many years, the amount in any given year uh, can be relatively small, especially for uh, the smaller communities that we represent in this region. So I started reaching out to local officials to see if there'd be interest in exploring a regional approach to using these funds. And I was happy to find that there was, and we, immedi and we immediately started working on creating a program that would serve all the participating communities in a meaningful way. We approached Sean Hayden and Gamma, and they suggested using these funds to create a, a regional recovery support navigator known as an RSN. The idea of this position, uh, the, the, this position will coordinate with police and fire departments to respond to individuals in our community in need of substance abuse recovery services. This is not a new concept. <laughs> the pros and cons of the nice weather today. Um, <laughs> this is not a new concept, but one uh, we usually find in larger and wealthier communities. With these settlement dollars and working together, uh, this allows us to bring this service uh, to our community and those in need. Over the past several months, myself and my colleagues and Sean Hayden have been crisscrossing the area, attending select board and city council meetings, meeting with police and fire chiefs, and because of all their support, we're able to announce the formation of this program today. This program will serve the municipalities of Ashburnham, Gardner, Templeton, Westminster, and Winchenden, and I'm pleased to be joined by representatives from those communities here today. Uh, this program covers three house districts, uh, and again, I'm joined by uh, Representative Whips, uh, Lizzie Kaczynskis on behalf of Rep. Ferguson's office, um, as well as Senator Gobi, uh, who could not be here today. Um, one of the first calls I made to local officials uh, was to the town manager here in Winchin, uh, Justin Salzbach, and I'm happy to uh, invite him up to say a few words at this time. Thank you, Representative, and, and I thank all of you for being here today. Um, this moment right now is really significant, and I think, um, you know, in terms of the years of work on the local, state, and federal level, uh, the opioid pandemic has just been ripping through communities like ours here in Winchin, and for decades now, um, it has impacted countless lives, disrupting hundreds of families, um, and it's really just torn at our social fabric in a way that has unfortunately been unaddressed for far too long. The announcement that we've gathered for here today is a significant step in repairing this damage, um, but also ensuring that there's some component of accountability for that hole that's been left in many lives throughout our communities. Uh, I'd like to thank the Attorney General's office and our partners at the State House for delivering on this component. Um, it, it was a significant undertaking. Beyond the personal impacts, this outcome will help municipalities address the financial burden that we had experienced um, in our communities as we work to solve this issue. The additional strain that the opioid epidemic had placed on our already taxed first responders uh, has certainly been difficult and many of them are with us this afternoon. So I'd just like for a second to give them a round of applause and thank them for their efforts. The funds that the surrounding cities and towns are going to receive from this program um, are going to be put to work almost immediately. And a big part of that is a proposed partnership with Gamma, an opportunity that was coordinated by Representative Zlotnick and WIPS, um, and in many ways spearheaded by Mayor Nicholson, who's with us this afternoon as well. Um, so I just want to say on behalf of the Town of Winchin and the Board of Selectmen that we appreciate their partnership. Uh, with that said, we also have our own Winchin Police Chief Wolski here with us um, this afternoon, who's done an excellent job heading the post program here in our community and has in many ways been on the front line of addressing this pandemic here in Winston. And so if you'd like to just say a few words, it'd be appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much, town manager. Uh, thank you all for coming today. I'm proud to address you. As you know, the uh, opioid epidemic 
has affected far, far too many families, far too many lives in Winston. And the funds that we are going to receive from this settlement are going to be utilized to great benefit by both the fire department and the police department. And for instance, the post overdose uh, program that, that I've, uh, I've led, uh, it's going to increase the capabilities of that program and uh, other resources as well. I'm looking forward to working more with Gamma, which is a great organization that serves the greater Gardner area. We've, we're already working with them, and uh, the fact that they're going to have more resources at their disposal is great news for us. Um, without further ado, I want to bring Mayor Nicholson, who I know has championed this as much as anyone, and uh, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Chief, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I do want to say thank you very much to Attorney General Healy's office and Representative Zlotnick, our entire legislative delegation, and everyone else who made this collaborative program possible. I remember back in the beginning of April uh, when the Attorney General's office reached out to my office to let us know that this was going to be an announcement that was made at Boston City Hall, and all of the mayors from around the Commonwealth were able to get together to announce that these funds were going to be available for cities and towns with the emphasis on the fact that these funds were going to be av made available to local officials and local governments because the impacts of the opioid pandemic aren't felt on this high level basis. It's felt by everyone who's on the ground dealing with a person to person basis and, and emphasizing the important role that our local governments, our first responders on the local level play in combating the opioid epidemic really is a key part of this program and I'm very proud of the fact that Gardner is able to be one of the key partners in this collaboration that we're able to put together as a result of these funds, working with Gamma to make sure that those who are in these struggling positions get the help and resources they need to continue to live their lives in a comfortable manner. I've often said that the role of all of us in local government is to build a community that people are happy, proud, and feel safe to call their home. And that's what we continue to do today, allow people to continue to live their lives in a comfortable and safe manner in the places they have called their home for years because we're able to help them and find the resources that they need. Uh, and this is something that really wouldn't be done if we didn't have just the amount of cooperative working relationships that we have with everyone who's here at the state, uh, local, and different levels of government and in the private sector. So I can't say thank you enough to everyone who's made this possible and I'm looking forward to seeing the impacts that this program is going to have. Uh, and while Attorney General Maura Healy wasn't able to be with us here today, it's now my honor and privilege to invite uh, Jillian Finer from the Attorney General's office to share a few words with us. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Thank you, Representative Zlotnick, uh, Representative Whips, uh, Mayor Nicholson, and of course the Winchenden Town officials for having us here today. Um, my name is Jillian Finer. I'm Senior Enforcement Counsel in Attorney General Maura Healy's Healthcare and Fair Competition Bureau, where I've had the privilege of representing our state in the Attorney General's opioid cases. Um, on behalf of Attorney General Healy, I want to thank everyone here for your dedication in helping people with their treatment and recovery. It's really wonderful um, to, see, to see all of our, this work coming to fruition, all of these communities collaborating, um, and really to see municipalities working together to help heal their communities, um, which have, as we all know, been ravaged by the opioid crisis. Um, we know the importance of families and communities accessing resources for building successful paths to treatment and recovery. The Attorney General's office is committed to taking on the perpetrators in the courts and holding them accountable. And we are grateful to state and local leaders who stand with us in making sure every dollar we get from these drug companies goes to addressing the crisis that they created. We're also grateful for the families who've been calling for justice for far too long and who have guided our efforts every step of the way. Thank you again for having us here this afternoon and for your commitment to helping others live a healthy and rewarding life. <laughs> 